get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, follow her on Instagram. So. Yeah, but well, without getting into details. Yeah. How uh, did you how did you discover Kizomba? Okay. Or did well, you discover uh, Kizomba? Or did you discover like African music in general? Was it in Spain or was it? I uh, I, I tell you, I start actually I started uh, with uh, Latin music because uh, mm -hmm. I've been uh, I, I'm. Well, I started with salsa actually because it was, you know, something which uh, I was like crazy about, mm -hmm. and I started it. I started it in in Germany actually. Mm -hmm. uh, there is where where I started, uh, you know, to dance it and uh, to participate in in events and festivals. I started giving classes as well, uh, you know, participating in some some kind of little shows and and stuff. And when I moved to Spain, when I finished my studies in Germany, when I moved to Spain, <clears throat> I continued. Uh, with salsa, actually, with salsa and uh, Latin dances, and uh, it was when it was. It was like uh, end of uh, 2008 or beginning of 2009, mm -hmm. when um, I went to some party. It was actually a Latin party, yeah. and they put and they put there, and they put there a song. I still remember what song it was. It was the song of uh, Neuza. It was uh, okay. Namado. Namado. Ah, you know? na, 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 na. Exactly, yeah, okay. exactly. And uh, well, nobody had no clue, and there were like 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 just one couple who made like the basic step, uh, like on the place. You know? Well, like one, two, three, one, two, three. You know. <clears throat> and uh, someone like made like this and said. Hey, uh, what do you think about Kisomba? I said, what? He said, uh, Kisomba, this is what they play. And me, I, I started to listen. And, and, like, wow. and, and, and uh, I, start, I started to imagine, you know, to imagine how one could move uh, with, with, with this, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 you know, the, the beat and everything. It was like something which, um, which filled me. And I, I came home, mm -hmm. it was like, I don't know, maybe three in the morning or something like that. And I, uh -huh. I, I just, uh, you know, <laughs> started to search in, <clears throat> in Google and, and YouTube, Kizomba, Kizomba. And there were like three videos, four videos maybe in the whole Google. That was, that was 2000, 2008. Eight or nine, something. Beginning okay. of nine, maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's when you nobody know? was on YouTube at that time. Yeah, they were. They were like, uh, you know, I can, I can just uh, say like five videos which I could see. You know, like mm -hmm. three of them were dance video. One of them were yours, uh, with uh, Afro Latin connection, with this thing, 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 thing. Ah, yes, yes, I like it. I like it. With Paula making like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, know? yeah, I remember that, <laughs> that, remember? that video. Yeah, listen, that was crazy. And then Actually, I, my, I, sh I, I, I shot this video with my little sister. I, uh, oh. my, my sister who did One Love, We, I, 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 I invite her to come to Porto so she can we can come she came with a camera and we shot the video ourselves and then i i edit myself the whole the whole video but you know what is the interesting thing that i think that actually because after i saw the the official video clip of this song yeah and i think i think that this the, the official video and and this video where where they make like you know like yeah. the, the whole dance the, yeah, yeah. like uh, not official one i think that one was uh, more popular even yeah it's possible you know i <laughs> have that, a lot that of was crazy i have a lot of of my songs or my 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 some of my music that are more popular outside of my channel than on my own channel but i don't care because i make money from everything anyway <laughs> <laughs> you are also talking about money <laughs> no I'm not, I mean, no but i understand I you know understand. it's business 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 has to be you know you're a businesswoman so you you know uh yeah. so wait a minute let me let me look at look at let me look at the comments okay. um 
Masongo, who's, who's who's asking you a question like if like like if he's interested. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, qual é o segredo para aprender as idiomas? É, eu te posso dizer <laughs> é estudar, yeah. estudar, estudar, yeah. learn, estudar. Mais que zomba is in the area. Hey, mais que zomba. Hey. <laughs> AJ is asking, is it easy for Ukraine citizen to live in different countries of Europe? Uh, well, it, it, it doesn't depend on if you are Ukrainian or, or if you are whatever. It's just that, uh, you know, you are part you... of you are part of Europe, right? You're part of Schengen. No, we are oh, not. No? We are not. No, no, oh, no. So you need a visa to uh, before we need it. Well, actually, I passed all this way. I, I remember uh -huh. all this stuff about the papers and, and mm -hmm. all these on the scenes. But well, I me, I, first I was a student. So oh, okay, I, uh, yeah, I, as a student, like, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah nice. my students. After you know, I I I change. I came here. So well, uh, with uh, time, I I, I I got my passport. I remember I that everything. when I went to Ukraine two or three years ago. I didn't I didn't need nothing I just yeah no but uh, for for European citizen oh, you they don't can just need, come in you okay. don't need visa for Ukraine but for okay. example if you go for Russia yes you need okay 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 okay, okay. or for example imagine you are like you have like nationality which is not um, from the European community but mm -hmm. you are you are the resident so you still have you still need a visa but uh, see if since uh, like uh, three years or mm -hmm. two years or three years um, they uh, change it so for example people from ukraine they ca they can come here without visa okay. uh, the only the only thing is that they can stay here like three days. months or yeah, something yeah, yeah. you know like, yeah yeah 90 so. days star <laughs> killer yeah, is saying uh on veut que maintenant olga anime club shada no more keisha <laughs> <laughs> these people <laughs> these people uh future some biroba hoje temos uma garota linda por aqui look at these people <laughs> my god damn mas que zomba you did i mean we talking about the the, the life of of we, we still in the biography of uh of Olga. So for now we are in uh, how she discovered Kizomba. Um, somebody said something in Russian. Oh, I have no idea what he said. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте вам. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте вам. Uh, <laughs> quando que o Keisha vai fazer um, ter um show em Angola uh, depois da merda do Covid <laughs> <laughs> so now so, this is the question for this is the answer sorry for everybody uh, unfortunately uh -huh. I would love to hear what Olga thinks about online festival and if she thinks they are doable it can be profitable we coming calm down this is this is yeah we will we, talk we, about we're that gonna talk yeah, we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about that so uh so you were in spain you discover kizomba then you go online you start looking for videos about, yeah and about, i about, I, about I, I i got like cra crazy you know yeah. because well there were there were there were a few videos uh -huh. actually but uh the the few that i saw it was like uh I have to discover it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to so discover you, it. You and start so, being so, obsessed with. <laughs> well, not obsessed, but very interested. And yeah. I started to search where one can go to hear it, to dance it, to learn it, to uh -huh. whatever. <clears throat> yeah. And there were like no place. Okay. The 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 only possibility in Spain. was. No, in Spain, forget it. <laughs> in Spain, yeah, in 2008. I don't speak about Spain, I don't speak about France, I don't speak about any country. It was only Portugal, and in okay. Portugal, uh, you so, know. So, wait, 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 wait. In that party where you discovered Kizomba for the first time, that was okay. in Spain. 
it was yes. a, a salsa par party, right? It was a salsa party, and, and somebody uh, they, somebody played some kizomba, and you see some yes. people dancing. You were like, "Whoa!" Uh, I, no, I saw just uh, one couple in okay. the whole disco. One couple making just like one, two, three, one, two, three, nothing else. You okay. know? and and so, you know, badly, badly dance. Okay, But, okay. You know, I just you know I just yeah, imagine yeah. a little bit more. So, yeah. so then. You're looking for where you can dance kizomba in the world. And exactly, then, there was then, nothing. But, so how oh, did you know that it was Portugal, and how many people because, were interested? Okay, because I, I started looking for that, and mm -hmm. the only the only thing because of course in Portugal it existed. Yeah, but, of course. Uh, how could you know? Because you know, if it was like Musulo, like the African disco, or yeah, yeah, yeah. or Mangole, or whatever, it, it, you couldn't find it on the internet looking for Kisomba. You know, mm -hmm. it was like a little bit, uh, how do you say? Well, uh, like uh, like private stuff, like mm -hmm. ghetto stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, there was at that time uh, there was uh, one festival. Oh. Uh, which which was um, it was, was festivals salsa. already? No, no, it was salsa festival. Okay, a salsa festival. It was salsa festival where they where they just brought a couple of kisomba dancers okay. and they put like like a small room like an additional yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. where they put just a little bit of kisomba. That's how the virus. That's how the virus entered all the salsa festivals. Exactly, and it was uh, in Coimbra. I okay. Remember. It was the symposium of Coimbra. <clears throat> so wait, so you 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 went from you went I, from I took I took my car and I went to Portugal. To Portugal. Alone? Like this. Uh for, well, uh well, first ah no, wait. Before before this before uh one week no. Look, two weeks before this festival of Coimbra, mm -hmm. there was another one which was actually, it was not actually a festival. It, it was like uh, a party. The, the, the event like of the school. Okay. It was in San Pedro de Moel. It was a very, very, very small event. They put their like all kind of dances they put their tango they put their salsa they put their kisomba they put their everything mm -hmm. and it was like um, um, on the beach with uh, with a swimming pool and you know like a little bit of like andanzas no i don't i don't know if you know and it was very small and and i went there with uh, two friends of mine okay and after and after uh two weeks after I saw that it was a big uh, symposium of Coimbra, which which so was what, actually what salsa. Is, what is a symposium? What does that mean? Well, uh, in my opinion, okay, because okay, okay there are uh, uh oh, we got we got lost on on the body. Have like, oh, there you go. You have. You have, a, you can have a festival. A festival can be one day, but also festival can last uh, one week. Yeah. You know, you. But festival, it means that artists come and uh, it's just party. You know, and mm -hmm. <clears throat> after you have uh, some events where where uh, teachers come and, and uh, they show you, they give you master classes, they give you like different workshops. It's like like learning, it's learning mm -hmm. and also party or, or even without party, you know, but I mean, there should be some social part. She's but... from Ukraine. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, for me, for example, a symposium, it means uh, like uh, at least uh, Uh, four days event, okay. something like that, maybe three, but not less. Okay. Uh, where where you have like uh, uh, people from all over the world, who people, come like together. not like international people, but but people with number, no. Yeah. A lot of people. Okay. So so you knew there was a, a festival, an event in Portugal. So you took your car with your friends, and you go. To no, no, but it was it was it was better because I went to the first one and 
to to go to Coimbra. Uh-huh. At the same time, my mother should come to visit visit me from Ukraine. Oh. And I was like frustrated because I wanted to go so much, but my mother should should come, you know. And yeah. I was like, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? <laughs> my, so my mom or dancing? No, you know what I did. You took I your mom. Her, I exactly. <laughs> You kiss up, but exactly. people are crazy. <laughs> exactly. I, I told her, Mom, I'm sorry. Um, we are we going have to go. We to are going Portugal. to Portugal. She was like, huh? I don't know how. Just, how did she say? What did she say in Russian? Or do, your know. mom speak Russian remember. or Ukrainian with you? Uh, she with, with me. She speaks Russian. Actually, okay. actually, I I would say that my mother language is Russian. Okay. I mean, I I understand Ukrainian. I I can speak Ukrainian. I mm-hmm. uh, we have like in Ukraine, we all the television and uh, newspapers. It's everything in Ukraine. When I finished my study, I had to write my final paper in Ukraine. Okay. But uh, with my brother, with my mother. You all speak Russian. I, I speak Russian. I'm I'm more like because I'm I'm come I'm come from the the part of Ukraine which yeah. is more like close or, to to, to the Russia. border. You know, the yeah. Independentist. Mm. No. <laughs> no. Don't you, enter go, go to the, go to the left. I'm not gonna go to the no, political. No, we question. are not. We are Ukrainian. We are not independent. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> go go a little bit to the left. To the left. To the left, like this. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So. Okay, sorry. So you go to the 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 the, the salsa festival, or and yeah. uh, so there there was a kizomba room, of course. Exactly, and I just uh, stayed there all the time. Almost. Okay. <laughs> And I knew there all the dancers, like you know, the first ones. Okay. You know, like like uh, Avelino, Vati, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Los, uh, Afro-Latin, Bruno, Ricardo, all these people. Well, who, yeah. who were there? Pepe, Chu. No, Pepe, he wasn't. He wasn't there. I think. That's uh, like first generation. Before. First yeah, generation. Kizomba yeah, yeah. dancers. Wenda and and yeah, yeah Wenda. all these people. And yeah, um, and after, after when I returned, me and a couple of friends who were already uh, um, like me. So, so at that like, at that moment, do you know? Do, moment, are you already like a, a good kizomba dancer? Do you know? Like, are you dancing a lot or? Yeah, I mean, I danced at that time. I, I you know, I, I I danced a lot there, and since then. I started like that year, I remember 2009, I was like every second weekend, I took my car and I went to Lisbon. What? Yes. Just for the weekend, just to dance. Just, just to, to dance. To dance, to Wait, learn. Wait, so you know? every weekend, how many hours from Madrid? Every, every, every second weekend. It's like uh, five hours and a half. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> just to dance? Yeah. Because it was something Did you which find we like didn't a, have. A, no, a, because a Portuguese because boyfriend did... or something. Or it's, no, it's, no, it's no just, it was not just about that. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you dancers are a little crazy like that. Like you would like travel the whole world just to dance for a weekend. It's like, but it, no, it's but beautiful. Now, for example, it's not like that. Of course, you know because now we have it everywhere. And, yeah, yeah, you know. it's everywhere. But back then it was hard to find the music, so I understand. No, but so, then they were zero, zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I remember. I mean, we knew a lot of party because uh, in 2008 I was already performing in Portugal all the time, so I knew all the clubs. But it was, it was not dancing clubs. It was more clubs where you perform and stuff. Uh, you, you, yeah. You so tell more. me. So tell me. From which year you you started to feel that you are someone uh, famous? In Portugal. It was like after. Uh, like that, right? In Portugal. Something nine, maybe. In Portugal. Uh, no, ge- general, generally, generally. Oh, 1998. Long time before. From my okay, first but, album. But, okay, but but no, but you mean in 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 your community? I mean, like in the European, like uh, in the like yeah, in yeah, Somba like, community. 
in the Kizomba community, I didn't know. But when I came here in 2003, uh, everybody knew me already. Uh, but apparently, from what people tell me that were doing the African parties, they actually knew me from my first album. Uh, and they were playing my songs. But I, I never, I never, I didn't even know that I had a market there. It's really when I came on a holiday that I realized that, oh my God, like, and that's when I started doing shows. But yeah, yeah, the music was already like. Yeah, Festas I mean, the, mu really the music was the music was already. But I mean that, uh, for example, in the, I don't know if you realized uh -huh. this this uh, like click, like this boom, when uh. suddenly Kisomba started to spread all over. So, I I think to me, I I, I think Kisomba has three different uh, st stages. The okay. first one is before everybody call it Kizomba and it's, exactly. it's Zouk music, Zouk. Exactly. but people dance Kizomba on Zouk in the African parties, the, 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 the Angolans, the Mozambican, the Guinea-Bissau, uh, in Portugal, they dance Zouk uh, and Cap Virgin music a lot. Uh, that's the end of the 90s the beginning of the 2000s so this is in in uh, in portugal and at the same time in france where zouk is big and you have a, a, yeah, a yeah. big zouk market yeah. then in cap Verde and in in the countries too there's everybody has more or less their 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 music and their dances then you have the second part when i would say 2005 is mm -hmm. where is when me ludo nichols jamis Ali Angel, uh, there's Tor Semedo, there's uh, uh, Gilles Semedo, there's, there's uh, yeah, uh, yeah. it's like French artists and Cap Virgin artists are here. And at that moment, we are like on the top of the game and it's like shows, 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 shows. I think between 2005 and 2008, I probably did every year 25 to 50 shows in Portugal plus 25 to 50 shows in France, plus the US and the rest of the, and then it start going to, and when we start exploding mm. in Portugal, then we start having a lot of shows in uh, in Mozambique, in Angola, in Cap Verde, 2007. Yeah, and okay, at that but moment, you're, you're, you're talking uh, more about like uh, follow-up community. Yeah, and then right? uh, now I also start to also play and, and French. Out, as outside to the French communities, but also to the US, the music is starting to go everywhere. And like, I think the my music and the music from Nichols and the music from uh, Ali Angel and Jean-Michel Rotin was essential in, because we were singing songs in English, it stopped okay. pushing the music to other places. And uh, in the Haitian in uh, in in the in the U.S. there had there was a big Asian community that were playing compa, and they were also having their own market. But we had we were the artists, the first artists who were in the Kizomba market, in the Palop market, in the Zouk market, and at the same time in the compa market. So we were just going everywhere, and our, the sound okay. was starting to spread everywhere. And I would say that in 2000 and 8, 2009 is when in France there's the first Kizomba festivals maybe I'm not sure about the dates 2009 2010 this is when Kizomba is starting to become bigger than Zouk and that's also the explosion at that time <coughs> of all the Kizomba festivals the good ones before then before it becomes something so commercial that everybody start yeah. going everywhere so uh, so you when do you organize your first party yeah we started well, well actually uh, that festival we, we, that two festivals were, were what i was talking about well first mm -hmm. was like a small one the yeah. other one was big one but it was salsa but with, with a little bit of kisoba. but there i i i knew the artists and there are new people uh, mm -hmm. with whom I could already, you know, like um, have a contact and whatever. And then in Spain, we started with uh, like inviting, like imagine, uh, one 
uh, artist, one well the, teacher in this okay. in this uh, sense, okay, and making like an intensive course, for example. Okay. So we started like uh, I don't know, thirty people, okay. uh, fifty people, eighty people, okay. uh, whatever. That's uh, the first year. And, this, that was the first year, that was 2009, and okay. then we arrived to December 2009 when we organized the first festival, which was Sensual Dance Symposium Madrid, which was actually the first ever, ever Kizomba uh, Festival. Kizomba festival. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because wow. before, before that, um, what existed? Existed Africa Dansar. Uh, That's in which, Lisbon, yeah, in Lisbon. Uh, Africa Dansar started uh, 2008, was the first, mm -hmm. 2009 it was the second, it was like May or something, but actually the concept was different because it was just the competition, you know, they had like oh, okay. TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. TV and media it was a dance and blah, contest. blah, blah. Okay. but it was like a dance con uh, contest, okay. but uh, it was not like, you know, uh, classes and after night parties and uh, whatever, you know, it was like another concept. So okay. actually as, as the events, like, like we know now, it was the first one. And the next year they started already. How many people you had the first one? We had uh, something like 200 and something. It yeah. was not much, but oh, it was for the first one. Yeah. For the first one, like 250, maybe to okay. 230, something like that. We had a group from from um, from Paris, okay, uh, which was organized by Victor Kisomba, uh, well, uh, the 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 high guy, well. Yeah. People know who is Cookies. Okay. <laughs> um, then we had people from Portugal. We had some people from here. So Mashki Zomba said he had friends who drove from Faro to Madrid. Sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, I I remember there were there were a lot of people from Portugal, but. Well, now I don't remember exactly because yeah, it was of course, like, of course. Uh, you time. know, 11 years ago. Time so. went by. What up, Tineg? But yeah. Matt is asking good. if there's a, if Ukrainian and Russian are mutually intelligible. Yeah, I think the Ukrainian understand Russian and the it, Russian understand it's like, Ukrainian. You know, it, it's like, for example, Spanish uh, and Portuguese. Spanish and Portuguese, exactly. Yeah. So uh, you it's understand, like, yeah. uh, uh, por Portuguese people they understand Spanish, but Spanish they don't understand Portuguese people. <laughs> so, so it's the same in Ukraine. Uh, Ukrainian they understand both, and Russian they don't understand Ukrainians. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. I see the feeling. Might mm -hmm. think so many people thought "Deeper" was a Haitian song. Listen, people thought people thought I was from every country in the world. I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just buy the music. <laughs> <laughs> Beatrice is saying Olga invented the first Kizomba festival on the beach. Lovely memories. It was great. Mm. Ah, well, it was the uh, Criola Beach Festival, yeah. But that was a few years later. It so, was, yeah, a little bit later. It was like one year and a half later. So your, your, was your festival the first ever Kizomba festival in, in, in Spain? Well, if you consider it like Kizomba festival, uh, yes, not only Spain uh, in general, in the world, oh. because uh, there okay. were no, there were, there were no Kizomba festivals. No, in France, they started the next year. In Portugal, they started the next year. I mean, there were festivals, but they were like kind of salsa festivals with just uh, like extension of Kizomba and stuff like this, you know. Wow. And of course, of course, Africa Dansar, which I talked about already. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it had a little bit another concept. So okay. actually, we can say who started first was um, Africa Dansar, okay. but uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Okay, so when did you start? Like, when did it go from a, a passion? To a business. 
well uh, so when do you start when, making money actually from making kizomba festivals uh it's a, it's a, when, it's a, when it's a, you start, this is a this is here is it's a it's a business club we talk about everything <laughs> we talk about business because like it's it's always interesting to see things not only from the point of view of the fans but also from the point of view of the makers and also from the point of view of how much it costs to create uh, a good Kizomba festival because uh, we will come to after when then when the world became crowded with Kizomba festivals but um, yeah uh, how much how much did it cost to do the first one for example like roughly did you do it in a hotel did you did you did you do yeah it we a... did it in the hotel yeah exactly uh, i i don't remember exactly yeah more or less like the investment i I, I remember i remember that we arrived uh, uh no we we did we we, I think we didn't arrive to zero, Indeed. but it was almost zero. It was almost zero, something like that. Zero, how but, much you paid? You paid zero. No, no, I mean, uh, between oh. the costs and the Okay, but how much, how much did you invest? How much was the, 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 the how much was, was the cost? Uh, 5,000? Uh, no, it was something like between 15 and 20, something like that. Maybe Damn. 50, 15, maybe something like that. But it was not that we paid yes. just uh, um, directly from from our pocket because people were uh, reserving, they were making their uh, their bookings, okay. and we were accumulating this money and paying just yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like the flights. So you for, you for didn't the make artists, no money, whatever. but you had. You you arrived to uh, balance. Uh, exactly. Well, more or less. It was a little bit lower. Than, oh wait, wait. Than... Masongo has a new question for you. You know, he has a lot of questions for you because he likes you. Olga, já dançaste kizomba uma vez? <laughs> of course she did. She's a teacher. She's a kizomba teacher. Uh... <laughs> she is the kizomba teacher. Alguna vez. Si dance alguna vez. <laughs> she danced like every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, every day, no, but so in my life I danced a lot, yeah. So, uh, so that was your yeah, first. Yeah, about, about about the money, yeah. Yeah. So actually, so when did actually, you start making money from it? When 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 did you say like, oh yeah, this is a good business? Like uh, I invest like and like twenty fifteen to twenty thousand to organize a Kizomba festival. That's a lot of money. It's a lot uh, of money, yeah. So, but uh, I mean, uh, the first year it was well. The first year maybe it was uh, less than fifteen, but something like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. More, okay. more than ten, okay. certainly. So uh, the first year it was like okay, more or less, more or less. Okay, you gain uh, nothing, but yeah. you know, it's your passion. You are like inspired and whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, there were not so many people and you want to spread, you want to make the market and blah, blah. And the next year it started to growing and growing and growing, you know. So and what, what course, did you start growing? Your festival or Kizomba in general? In general. Yeah, I, think, yeah, I remember that well. at that moment. I remember that I was looking at, the, you know, I have, a, I have a map where I see where, where I'm, I do my, my streams and my sales. And my map were usually was France and just France and mm -hmm. in and the USA. I remember in the beginning on iTunes, I was selling maybe 55% in the USA and 45% in France. And around 2008, I see like a bunch of nine. countries, like a bunch nine. of countries. Yeah. 2008, 9, 10, I see like... 9 and 10, I would say, and then, not 8. like my music was everywhere. And also because I was yeah. traveling, I was sending to a lot of DJs, but also because I think the, the explosion of the Kizomba festivals also made my music travel around the world, for example.